junk and fool over here in Porville. Beautiful muggy day. Got too awful much going, a little something going on, but I've been working on my truck here. I should have went this way. So yeah, I don't know, I moved that um, big press there and I got home and been a while back, forklift wouldn't start. So I tried to get it out there with a backhoe and the backhoe didn't want to go high enough but I ended up pretty much dragging it off and my, my truck bed was already pretty rough shape and I was kind of looking for one. Now that was like that when I bought it. I guess a motorcycle run the stop sign and hit the truck. But got the cab a little bit. Don't hear no uh, air blowing around the door or anything. So an update, we called on the bell housing that was supposed to be shipped out and they was waiting to see if we wanted the cable. Uh, our I, way of thinking was they was going to send it out and we was going to give them a call back when we wanted the cable. but. So we ended up ordering a cable, so it's going out today. We said it'd be a few days. So I thought I may as well get on another project. I've been finagling this thing together. It's, I was looking for a bed, box, whatever you want to call it. And I haven't found nothing. A couple of them I did find, they was as rusty as this one. So I guess I'm going to patch this. So I started on it and I got some holes burned in here and some of them were actually in the metal already. So I put a main brace there. What I did is I had to slide this whole corner over about an inch and a half so I welded hooks there. I tried to screw them in and they come right out. So I welded them on both sides and hooked the come along to them. Drew this side over this side is still fairly solid. I'm going to fix it all right where I'm working on it. So I got that pretty much square. Put a piece of metal in there. It ain't super thick, but... And this stuff is so rusty trying to weld. It's got some good welds, and a lot of them I was hitting the rust and burning right through, and couldn't get that metal to lay up against there, so I tried some self-tapping screws, and looks a little rough but I'm not done with it and it's solid that part's solid we get up in here and brace it all up I think we're good if we get around these fenders and about a six eight inches in front of them I always start with the worst side on any project I do or the hardest part so got that square and I'll jack this up just a little bit brace this up and I'll probably put a couple more braces at the top I got my come along over there, drug this over about inch and a half or inch and a quarter or something. And the tailgate it had a big old gap on that end, so that's what I'm working on today. I gotta get another one of these um, wire things here. It's a little little extra weight on that without that guide cable or whatever they call it. There's my brass. Let's see if I can fall off my, get off the top. I was going to make a rhyme up, but anyway, so yeah, this tailgate, I was kind of looking for another box, then I thought, well, I'll just start with a tailgate. I got that welding cable hook here, yeah, but that's almost like new. It's a little close there, but this thing's got a big old dent there. To open it, I usually got to put my shoulder into it, which I'm accustomed to doing. Both latches get in there. They probably could use some grease when I get done. So that's what I'm doing. I'm winter's getting close. I was looking for a bed. I actually found one on the computer and emailed them. They said a sale pending. And I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and patch this thing up. I got a lot of metal around here. It ain't worth nothing at the scrapyard to speak of. So get a few more years out of this thing. I wanted to pull the bed off and put a new one on and redo the hitch and everything right where I had it off, but I still might pull this old one off and redo the hitch. Have to see how that goes, but 
Well, it shuts. A little bit of work. I might have an hour into it right now. Two hours. Bunch of scrap metal around here. I just uh, got this piece here marked off to go over the wheel well. I got to cut this stuff off and grind it down, clean it up. It should weld a lot better up there. It's a little solider metal. Get up there where you get the solid metal the best you can. And I don't use a square level or anything I, I have, but sometimes I just get in a hurry and guesstimate, get it done. As long as it serves a purpose, I'm not going to run it in a car show or anything. It might be the most patched truck bed. But yeah, we've done these without a welder. and It's definitely pretty rough, but... You know, sometimes you can find a whole truck with a decent bed. Better than you can find just a bed. And you can buy it about the same price. That's kind of the deal I'm looking for. Something I can buy with a good bed and maybe sell the engine use some parts and end up with a free bed that's more what I like to do if possible if I'd have found one I'd have bought it but anyway this is a junkin pool over here in Poorville just thought I'd show a progress report see what it looks like when I'm done I could put a bed liner in it when I'm done and nobody would even know that was all patched up I don't know if I'll do that half a bed liner is in there that I Took the grinding wheel and cut a big couple big chunks of that out, gonna get rid of all that. And I might even see how this goes, but I might even get over here and see if I can pull this den out or maybe even cut it from the inside. I could pretty much get in there with my feet if I cut a spot out of the inside and pop that right out. But it seems to go down the road fine with it like that, other than everybody thinks that I did it. That's okay with me. I didn't do it. That's a pretty decent old truck. It's rough looking, but it runs really good, drives good. I'd put new brakes all the way around on it. So. Anyway, junk and pool over here in Poorville. That's my project for today. Go find some junk. There's some good junk. Goodbye now.